Hi, welcome back. I'm Michelle and you're watching Michelle's Life. This video is going to be my Get Graphic wrap up video. Um, it's kind of also a vlog, so it's a vlog and wrap up video in one. It's kind of all disjointed, but uh, eh, hopefully you enjoy it. Get Graphic is a readathon hosted by Kristen and Kayla, and I think they also had guests this year, Adriana from Perpetual Pages and somebody else. I'll leave the links down to all of their channels down below. You can also check out the hashtag Get Graphic on Twitter, I'm not, and I think Instagram, um, to see what everybody was reading during this readathon. It took place from Friday the 5th, Friday's actually the 6th, Friday the 6th to Sunday the 8th. Um, so I already posted a TBR video, I'll put the link for that video down below if you want to check it out. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna insert the clips from my vlog now. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so this is Saturday, October 7th. Um, I didn't actually get to read any of the graphic novels on Friday night because I was exhausted. But I did start reading them today while my daughter was watching her morning cartoons. Yeah. Um, and I may have started earlier in the week and cheated, but really, can you cheat? I mean, you're reading. But anyway, I read like the first 30 pages of Persepolis, volume two, by Marjane Satrapi. And I have to say so far, I really enjoyed the first one more. I yeah. think that her humor was better. I liked the events that were happening. Great I liked that it was looks. more, you know, it took place in Iran. And right now I think we're, I can't remember right now, we're somewhere in Europe. I think we might be. I don't know, but it mostly focuses on her adolescence and becoming a teenager and how her body is changing and um, how she's slightly ashamed to say she's Iranian, but then she kind of winds up yelling at someone one day and proclaiming who she is as an Iranian woman and feeling proud of herself again and reclaiming her identity, and I really like that aspect of it. Um, but... I don't know, the art is still really good and I'm still gonna continue with it, but for now I put it down and I started Spider Gwen Volume Zero. This is the one that was recommended by a friend. My friend Sam recommended it to me. So far it's okay. Um, I also just finished, what's it called? Black Canary. And I just find it weird. So we have Black Canary, we have Spider Gwen, and we also have, oh, there's Laurel. And we also have, um, Gem and the Holograms, yeah. and they're all females in bands. Like, you can't have a graphic novel where the female's not in a band. I mean, like, they're superheroes. Yeah. Do they need to also play music? So in this, Spider-Gwen is a drummer in a band. Yeah, yeah so uh, Spider-Gwen is in a band called the Mary Janes, and in this series, Peter Parker yeah. is inspired by Spider-Gwen and um, injects himself with the spider serum and kills himself. And then the world hates Spider-Gwen and blames her for his death. And Spider-Gwen's dad is um, the, what is it called, police commissioner, I think. And he's trying to hunt her down and she reveals herself. And this is all within like the first five pages, so I don't feel like I'm spoiling anything. The art is really good. Um, I like the colors. I don't know if I like the drawings of the people so far. They're kind of... Um, basic lines. I don't know. I think I'm more of a bold yeah. line type of person. I like when they're not thin, mm. sketchy lines. But um, yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be all right. I just don't like the whole band angle. So let me see if I can hold this and show you some of the art so far. Yeah. So this is some of the art. It's just, see how their faces are kind of like thin lines? I don't know. I, don't, I like her costume and stuff and I like the colors like I said but I just don't like I don't know I you, know what, you know what I mean I don't know I want, yes. you, want, want, you want more cantaloupes yeah. okay how do you say I want more cantaloupes Please. thank you all right I'll check in again later with another update okay so it's still Saturday and I just changed and put on some makeup even though I'm still red um, I just finished spider Gwen volume zero um, it grew on me a little bit. I like some of the art. I mostly like the covers in between sections the most. Yeah. I like that they involve other people, like uh, Spider Pig was mentioned in here, and also, um, like I said, Peter Parker was mentioned earlier, and then also at the very end, 
um, Daredevil is brought in uh, as the lawyer. Um, what is his name? Um, yeah, Murdoch, Matt Murdoch. So it was cool to see all those different characters in here. I don't know if I'm going to continue with the series. I didn't, the sense of the humor behind it was kind of farty to me. I didn't really enjoy it as much as I enjoy the humor in Silk. So I think I'm still a Silk fan rather than a Spider Gwen fan. Um, the art is really pretty though. Um, so that's the first book I finished for Get Graphic. The other thing that I did today while well, my daughter took a two and a half hour nap was I colored in my Shades of Kawaii Volume 2 coloring book. I haven't colored in forever, but I thought I'd share with you guys. I colored two pages. So I colored this page. And then I also colored this page, which I think choosing orange for the background was a mistake. I should have gone with pink, but that's okay. It's vibrant. So I'm going to continue reading. Um, I think I'm going to pick up Bitch Planet next. Um, but I'm actually going to go to the library and return Spider Gwen and take my daughter to get more Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and probably more books for her. So I'll check in again later. So today is Sunday. We're in the same spot. We're eating breakfast again. We've got scrambled eggs and toast this morning along with cantaloupe. Again. But anyway, um, the only graphic novel I read yesterday was Spider Gwen. But I did start Bitch Planet Volume 1, and I think I read the first three editions, first four editions in here last night, and I'm just finishing it up this morning, and I will tell you that this is phenomenal. After reading Spider Gwen and being bored and hating the writing and the, the drawing in general, I love the colors in Spider Gwen, but the rest of it is eh. Um, this is so well written and it flies by, too. yes you're eating food too, and it flies by so quickly and it's just, it. It hits on so many of the topics and so many things that are currently and have been going on in our media for so long. Um, each section is broken up like it ends in an advertisement and that has to be my favorite part. Um, so I'm going to show you one of those and read it, even though I know you can read for yourself, but it's really funny. What's wrong with you? Um, what's wrong with you? Be the you he likes. Good to be around any time, any day. A green X helps. It doesn't change your circumstances, but it keeps you from caring. Because without thoughts, feelings, or inconvenient opinions, you're more fun to be around. So use a green X. Isn't he worth it? And if he kicks you out, where will you live? Do you really think someone would give you a job? Look at you. They're all really funny. Um, just about appearance and vanity and about our ridiculous ideal body weights that we that are forced that are forced upon us in our media and um, there's one about uh, vaginas being smelly and stuff like that and just this idea that has been put upon women in general for like the last forever about how we are less than and um, I don't know the commentary on feminism is so strong and so thought-provoking and well-written in Bitch Planet that I'm really, really, really enjoying it. So they're really actually pretty small and you're able to fly through them really easily. Um, the story is really well, it's it's developing really well, um, it's enjoyable. I think it's definitely going to be a five-star graphic novel. So I'll let you know, sorry, I have at the end of the day, what I think of both volumes. Um, so I think with reading Spider-Gwen and reading the two volumes of Bitch Planet, I will have only accomplished three of the reading challenges. So I am also going to try to finish Persepolis Volume 2. That way I finish four, five, five of the six reading challenges. I don't think I'm going to finish five books for this challenge, but I could finish 300 pages, black and white, um, a new to me series, um, a friend recommendation, and two consecutive graphic novels. So, yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. We'll see how it goes. I'm not really vlogging, but I already had the camera set up to shoot the beginning of this video, so we're here. I finished uh, Bitch Planet Volume 1. I'm giving it five out of five stars. 
I absolutely loved this volume. I loved everything about it. I love the writing, I love the plot development, I love the characters, I love the dialogue that it opens up about feminism and the problems that we have in our society. The back says, are you non-compliant? Do you fit in uh, do you fit in your box? Are you too fat, too thin, too loud, too shy, too religious, too secular, too pr prudish, too sexual, too quiet, too black, too brown, too whatever it is, then you'll then they'll judge you for today. You may just belong on Bitch Planet. Um, it just points out the ridiculous standards we have and ridiculous um, discriminations we hold against each other. Like we're all just humans and we don't all fit in these boxes set up by society. I love the discussion that this opens up and there's even a um, bitch, bitch Planet discussion guide in the back. So if you had like a book club or something like that, you could talk about it. And the questions are really great. Um, I then finished volume two in a half hour. Like the really quick, easy read. Sometimes graphic novels take me like two hours. These don't, um, they're just perfect. You can finish them in like 30, 40 minutes. They're a quick read, the art's really good. I love all the different body types. Um, it's just, again, five stars on this one as well. The plot just continues and it's, it's a page turner. You just keep reading and keep devouring it and it's just, really great it's really great so i definitely definitely recommend bitch planet so far at least the first two volumes i will definitely be checking out the next volumes as well so this part is being filmed a lot later than the other part of the readathon i was just lazy and didn't feel like filming the end and then editing it and getting it uploaded so it's a, a weekend late but last weekend i did manage to read spider gwen volume zero um, Bitch Planet Volume 1, Bitch Planet Volume 2, and within those three volumes I was able to read 400 pages. I also read some of Persepolis Volume 2, but I kind of wound up DNFing it. Not kind of, I did wind up DNFing it, just because I really loved the first story, the first volume. I liked that it took place in Iran. This one took place in Austria, and I just wasn't as interested in her adolescence and her transition into adulthood and I don't know I just didn't really like the way that that story was going um I mean I know it's her, her graphic memoir so I can't say like I didn't like the way your life was going but I just didn't enjoy the story as much as I enjoyed the first one so I didn't mind up finishing it so I completed one a new to me series bitch planet two installments in the same series bitch planet volume one bitch planet volume two I read over 300 pages um, black and white art, I kind of did because I didn't finish Persepolis, but I did at least try. Um, number five was a graphic novel picked out by a friend, and I read Spider Gwen Volume 4, and then read five things. I read Spider Gwen, Bitch Planet 1, Bitch Planet 2, and that's it. So I completed number one, number two, number three, and number five. So I completed four out of the six challenges. That's not too bad. And it also just says black and white art. I attempted black and white art, so I'm gonna go four and a half. <laughs> uh, overall, I really enjoyed this readathon. I will definitely participate next year when it comes up again. I hope that you do as well. If you did participate, let me know what you accomplished down below, what graphic novels you read, or if you've read any of the ones that I mentioned. And that's it. Uh, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.